Hello! Hello, I am here, and I am back with Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy. Which means I can probably unmute this now. So, um, today I was trying to figure out how to hook up, like, sound commands, um, with stream elements, and I'm not sure if I did it right. Um, but, you know what, maybe, maybe it's just something that I need to look into, like, fixing or maybe invest more time in because I probably, most definitely, I probably shirked it. Um, anyway, let me double check my phone, make sure everything is up to speed. And I also have my water bottle here. Oh, and it looks like, uh, oh, it's a welcome to stream elements thing. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out after stream. And somebody followed me off stream. Okay. So, anyway, we are going to dive right in to Spyro Reignited. Um, so let me hit that right there and flip on over to Spyro Reignited. And this is going to be good because we are continuing with Year of the Dragon. And I am ready to torch some more Rhinox. Now, uh, when I last left off, I believe I was in Midday Gardens. Um, I had not done Icy Peak, Spooky Swamp, or Bamboo Terrace. So I'm going to have to take care of those levels and the, uh, the Midday Gardens boss. And... At that point, I'm pretty sure I could probably free Bentley. Oh, uh, yeah, Midday Gardens. I did leave off there. So, this is going to be fun. Um... Do I have any... Uh, yep, I do. Yes, I do. I have Carmex. Uh, and I've been needing it a lot lately because, well, I'm pretty sure I've talked about my lip issues. Like, the corners of my mouth, they are, like, seriously cracked. And it hurts to, like, have my mouth super open wide, so. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, double checking. So, going into Icy Peak. Ah, jeez. Ow. Okay. Okay, um... Now, I think this level is supposed to be based on Canada. Whoa! Okay, that was a crazy ride. Well, I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Well, I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. Let's see if I were to do that. Okay. Let's see if I can get that ice block with. Whoa. Ah! Hallelujah. How's that for some skill? Oh, you 
shut the ice block, eh? Must be beginner's luck. Okay. Now to try and get that bird. Oh, that was easy. Ish. Oh wait, overshot. There we go. Okay. And then just a couple of two first. Okay. Now come through here. <laughs> Okay. Didn't that cause the vases to blow up in the old PS1 version? Or am I just imagining stuff? I don't know. Anyway. So here we go. Oh! Uh... uh. Please tell me the sound command for rage is enabled. Okay, so apparently not. So I have not set that up properly. So, let's try all that again. And it didn't work that time. Okay, so, because I already got those gems, I don't need to do all that again. Still, I can't believe I died, man. Oh. Can't win all the time. Squirrel blew himself up. Oh! Yes, I wanted to head bash the ice. Thank you. Don't you just love it when the controls just don't do what you want them to? Oy vey. Oy vey. Okay, here we go. Last two Rhinox with one TNT. Ah! And apparently I did not do that right. <sighs> Trat. This level is actually harder than I remember. I remember with this game, the hardest part of it all was the uh, the ice rink where we had to help Nancy with uh, her dance because uh, the hockey players kept whacking her with hockey sticks. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Before I forget, oh, there's a bird. I want a bird, 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 but as the word. Kidding, kidding. Bird is not the word. 
Dragon is the word. Because... What the... How did... Uh, uh, I, uh, no, I... I... No, I, I don't understand. Well, I got my life back. So, that's good. Maynard. <laughs> Don't you just love it when cute little baby dragons hatch? It's just so cute. Okay, so we don't have that many gems left to go, or do we? There's a bird up there that I just nailed, like a hammer on wood. God, my aim is horrible. Yeah. <sighs> gotta get, gotta get, gotta get my head in the game. There we go. It's the lucky head shake. <laughs> ah, kidding, kidding. <sighs> Just kidding. I definitely feel like I'm a kid again. Uh, let's see. Probably like 10 years old, I probably started nailing these games like it's nothing. Failed the first time. So I clearly was not paying attention. I was I thought for sure it was gonna be that guy, but apparently it's this guy. Oh, and then it's this guy. Okay. Oh, here we go. Judges didn't like it though. He threw 
this egg at me instead of a rose? Why don't you have it? Cerny. That's not a bad dragon name. Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. I have to hurry in myself. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. <laughs> I love how you can attack money bags in this game. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um. So yesterday, uh, yeah, I think I should probably talk about what was going on with me yesterday. Um. So yesterday, I was not in a very good mindset. Like I was going through all sorts of bad mood swings. Including uh, su suicidal thoughts, and honestly, I don't think that that is the best mindset to be live streaming in. Like, I felt like if that's how my mind is going to keep like randomly changing all throughout that day, then I really should not be playing video games, let alone live streaming them. So. I decided to take Monday off for the sake of my own nerves and for the sake of other people because honestly I would not be able to live with myself if I caused someone like so much depression that they wound up doing the very thing that I thought about doing myself because honestly that's not the answer. And what kind of a message would I be sending if I made people think that it was? I would not be doing anybody a favor. So, yes, it's definitely for the best that I did not stream yesterday. And that dragon did the moonwalk. I like that dragon already. Like you wouldn't believe it. Okay. Get like a running start. Whoa! I ran right past the thief and... Well that was a massive oof. Where'd he go? Or she? Where did it go? There it is. Betty. Ooh. I already fell off the edge once. I don't need to be doing it again. Ah, dang it.
Cool. Now I'm gonna go through here again because there is a skill point for getting on that platform. Sir Rykard, hey man, how are you doing? Wait. Oh, you got here just now. Okay, okay. I was worried for a moment, like, oh my god, am I too late in responding? Like, oh jeez. But I'm glad you're here, man. How are you doing today? <laughs> I got the skill point. Because I am that good. Now, if only I had not fallen off the edge earlier. In retrospect, I should have landed further away from the Rhinoch, come up to the Rhinoch, and then torched him. <laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. And it's checked. Oh, he's upset because he was used as a fishing lure. By the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. Um, sure. Anyway, now that the level's complete. We can head back to Midday Gardens and, uh,. Had an issue with your bank, got resolved, rent paid. Awesome! Glad that you could get your rent paid, dude. Absolutely wonderful. Oh. Oh, that's what that is. Like, I saw something going on with Discord, like, there was a 1, like, at the, uh, bottom right of the icon, and I was like, what is that? I found out what it is, and it's all good. And the good news is, uh, there could be potentially a raid at the end of my stream, depending on how many viewers I have towards the end. Um... Hopefully, I get plenty of viewers. Uh, but of course, what's going to attract more audience? I need to uh, be like positive and inviting. I got to be inviting. Oh, I love Spooky Swamp. And you know what? Uh, oh, dang it. Hold on. Yeah, the original. I like the way the original sounds. As a matter of fact, I uh, usually do a contact juggling routine to this song. That Kita was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Anyway, uh, pressing on. On guard! Okay, apparently I was not prepared for that. Nothing else down there. Did I get the sign back there? Not sure. Okay. Gotta come up. Torch. Oh, I did miss the sign. Right there. Okay. 
Uh, I need a key for that. Oh. Now, you're about to s Oh, hey, bloody! Oh! Oh, dang. That's funny. Now, you're about to see why I do the contact juggling routine to this level soundtrack. See? Michael. And the guy I watched to learn the routine, Michael Motion, yeah. Kind of puts the pieces of the puzzle together, doesn't it? Oh, there's a sign. Piranha signs. I don't like piranhas. They are really mean fish. Really mean spirited. They're vile. Cruel. And they bite. And in this level, if you go into the water, the piranhas are gonna get you. Which is... Not good. It's never good. And the piranhas are part of why my guts always feel queasy about this level. And I did not light this lamp there. Um. Hey, I wonder. Oh no, it might not be possible. Trying to get all the way over. Oh! Well, how about that? I didn't even get. I didn't even get bit. Like, how did I do that? Well, um. One of the great things about this is that, well, I don't have to pay money bags. I have another way to go around. Butternut. Butternut Bonadisc. Ugh. Oh, sorry, Italy. I'm sorry. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. Thelonious. And I acquired the skill point. And now here we have a mini boss. Ah, the tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. <laughs> a creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. <laughs> he swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. But they're using me. <laughs> Alrighty, sleepyhead. Wait, is that the boss's name? Sleepyhead? <laughs> he went boom. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. that went into the water. Dang it. <laughs> I 
I really like the uh, explosion sound effects here. They actually sound better than the original. So, I gotta give Toys for Bob the uh, extra point for that one. Speaking of the number one, we have one more hit to deliver to Sleepyhead and we will be good. Kaboom! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Irby. Uh, we can visit Sheila. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. And even she is speaking in haiku, which is quite a recurring theme with this level. Everybody is speaking in haiku. Which, don't get me wrong, it is, it is a good idea, but it can get annoying after a while. Um, now I'm not sure who, uh, did the, uh, voice acting for Sheila in this game. Um, what's the original? Is it the same original voice? Or... Hmm. I may need to look that up. You know something that actually surprised me yesterday? Uh, when I was feeling like super down and right before I was about to actually hurt myself, Nicole actually reached out to me. Or I came back into my room, looked at my phone, and I saw that Nicole, all of Hobbits, actually reached out to me. She was actually concerned. And that by itself actually meant something to me. And then a few moments later, I saw that Anita had responded to my Twitter post. Um, and you know, it actually meant a lot that those two individuals were actually, you know, they were reaching out to me. They were actually ready to listen. And that means a lot. If you know of somebody and they seem like really down, reach out to them. You know, let them know that they're not alone. They don't have to go at this whole thing all by themselves. We have the bones here. We must destroy the egg gauge. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come. Okay. So here we go. Okay, now I have to pay really close attention. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So we got the first one, Peggy. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to freeze the last egg? 
If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Something else that uh, I talked about uh, today, but on uh, my Facebook page, uh, is actually uh, you know, triggers. But, oh, dang! dang. Okay, so apparently I did not remember that quite right, but that was just the first try. We can do this again. There we go. There we go. The second one took two tries. How about that? Michelle. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. Okay, now we still got a few more things to do. Like, we gotta rescue an egg, and we also have to acquire a key, which will, uh, free the last of the gems for us. Oh, and there's a wonder I almost missed. Uh, I think that's it. Interesting. Well, uh, if you're ever feeling suicidal, you can always reach out to uh, me on Discord, or you can also uh, chat in the I Need to Talk channels. Uh, you can also reach out to uh, Anita in the I Need to Talk channel on her Discord server. So you've got multiple sources that you can reach out to. So. You're never alone. You are never alone by any stretch of the imagination. Life is war, but no man can fight a war all by himself. He needs an army, a team. Okay, so. I got the key. Whoa. It keeps splashing into the water, and I don't mean to. Ha! You piranhas will never get me, because I'm Spyro. Spyro the Dragon. And this is the year of the dragon. Ha 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 ha. Um... And there we go. And we've rescued Frank. <sighs> Part of my leg is itchy. Whoa. And I didn't even get hit. How did I manage that? Miss some gems this way. Hmm. 
Where are they? Back through there. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. Dilemma solved. So we can get out of this level. And we'll be off to... Uh... Bamboo Terrace. I'm oh, sorry, I... Had a bit of a brain fart. I needed a second to... Regain my... My peace of mind. My peace of mind. Um... I think on Wednesday... Uh, tomorrow, or, you know, it doesn't matter who's watching this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I keep thinking about doing a cooking stream, but I never actually do it. Um, maybe it's because the last time I tried to do a cooking stream, like, I was baking cookies, and... These trolls came in, and they were ridiculing them. Uh, but I've made Yorkshire pudding, so I, I at least know how to do that. Um, I know how to make a roast beef sandwich. There's also that. Um, I know how to make hash browns, but I've never made a potato cake. So maybe I could try doing a potato... Uh, no, maybe, it's, maybe now is not... An appropriate time to look up the recipe, but there we go. Not suicidal, but I lost friends because I attempted it. it wasn't because I. Because I attempted. It wasn't because I attempted. It was because their friend witnessed it. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, I'm sorry about uh sorry to hear that, and I'm sorry for um, misunderstanding your words, but I'm glad that everything's okay now. I really am. Uh, and you know something, uh, Bloody, I know uh, your phrase, uh, hugs for all. I was thinking about making that a command, and, uh... Wait, you... Exclamation point hugs, and then the two user says, uh... Or, it says, two user has given a hug to everybody in the stream chat, or... Something similar on those lines. Uh... I definitely want it to be uplifting and positive because that's what helps make the world go around. So you can't attack the NPCs when they're on a totem stance like that. Which is kind of a bummer. Like, I remember in the original game, uh, uh, how did it go? Yep! 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 That was the sound they made when you attacked them, the panda NPCs. Uh, I didn't feel any guilt or shame about, you know, attacking the NPCs back then because, well, they're just video game characters, not the actual pandas. 
If I came across an actual panda though, oh man, would I be showing it so much love. Because pandas are adorable. Uh, some people choose not to understand situations because, uh, they live in their own little world where ignorance is bliss. But, honestly, everybody needs a balance of ignorance is bliss and knowledge is power. Like, there is the phrase TMI, uh which means too much information. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's better to know something rather than to just make assumptions or cause speculation or suspicion or even concern for an investigation. But that is a good question, Sir Rykard. Why can't they? We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Tom. So, I'm gonna head back to Midday Gardens right now. We'll get the rest of everything here at the Bamboo Terrace as soon as we retrieve Bentley. Once we have Bentley, we can complete Bamboo Terrace. Uh, because that's the way this game was made. Oh, I forgot to switch the sound back. Okay. Now let's head back. Or, head back. What am I saying? Let's head over to Spike's Arena and confront the second boss. Uh, now, I would like to put on record, I... I don't exactly like... <sighs> Excuse me. I don't exactly care for the reignited version of Spike's Arena. Or, the reignited version of Spike. It, his legs just seem disproportionate to the rest of his body in this version. Now, did you see what I meant? Like, the legs looked all scrawny and stuff. Meanwhile, his upper body was really beefy, and... In the original PS1 version, he was beefy all over. Like, he looked more like a formidable opponent. Here, he looks like some sort of oddly proportioned fawn mutant.
Ah, dang it. Oh, shit. Use the fong with only one horn. Probably lost the other horn because he's just way too evil. Well, that's the explanation I could think of. Monique. That is a good question. And now we're entering the evening lake world. This should be really interesting. Sorry, I just needed a stretch. And we've been live for almost an hour. Almost an hour. Now she's having a change of hearts, a change of character, uh, a sign of growth as an individual. Can't exactly say person because, well, all people are animals, but not all animals are people. go. Stuart. One of the things that I don't like about this home world is that uh, most of the portal, the level portals, they are submerged. And the only portal that isn't submerged is Bentley's.
Honestly, I don't like that design element so much. Ever since I was a kid, I always hated that design choice. Jonah. Now, I thought that was kind of funny, like, how the game designers, like, Insomniac had actually put, uh, like, a dragon egg inside of the whale's mouth. That, I think, was, <laughs> was quite an interesting choice, not gonna lie. Um... Now where? Oh wait, there's some over there. The place where the sorceress hid all her treasure. But after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. Well, uh, let's think about this rationally. Uh, the Forgotten Realms was originally the dragon's, like, original home. So... If this was the dragon's original home, and the sorceress had treasure, wouldn't that mean that she stole the dragon's treasure as well? I mean, uh, theft of land, Theft of treasure, uh, pretty much overtaking an entire. Uh, I don't know what to call it at this point, but basically, the sorceress is in uh, pretty deep finds. Uh, There we go. Okay. Now let's free Bentley. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. <laughs> hey, cats! How are you? That was a nice stream, by the way. Uh, it was fun to watch you. Money bags. Oh, wait till you see Bentley. Like, why, you greatly avaricious, larcenous, duplicitous, uh. Oh, wait, I paraphrased that. Yeah, I'm so glad that you can make it. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Well, I am good at Spyro. Um, I'm not sure if I would call myself the ultimate Spyro fan. There's probably people who have played like every Spyro. The British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, thank you so much for the host. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's just my host alert, It's it always makes me laugh. 
Um, but thank you so much for the host. You're great. And you subscribed. Oh my god. Now you have access. You have access to my yeah yeah emote. Which is pretty much me going like. Something like that. <laughs> thank you. That's very kind of you. He may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Um. Oh. I feel. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a moment because I really need to take a bathroom break. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm. Please enjoy this absolutely fantastic BRB screen. Um, I will be back momentarily. All right, I'm back. And let me tell you, I feel so much better. Oh, by the way, uh, Bentley's uh, brother's name, Bartholomew. Uh, kind of not that original of a name. Uh, I could have sworn there was a game that had that uh, character name before uh, Spyro did. But, it's still a good name, though. I gotta give the hats off to Insomniac. So what was I saying earlier? Oh, yeah. There are probably people that, uh, have played every Spyro game ever released, including the Legend of Spyro series. Um, I pretty much stopped after Spyro, A Hero's Tale. Um, I have also played, uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Let me tell you, Enter the Dragonfly, uh, it was kind of a waste of Tom Kenny's talents, but it was still nice to hear him as Spyro. Um, and here's Brian. There is Brian. He doesn't look like the dog from Family Guy, but you know what? This is not about Family Guy. We are here for Spyro. Or in this case, uh, Bentley. Game Boy Advance ones, and Entered the Dragonfly. So you probably have not uh, played Spyro A Hero's Tale. Um, I'm not going to spoil everything, but there are some great uh, new playable characters, or a great new playable character, such as... Uh, Blink the Mole, and uh, Sparks even becomes a playable character in his own right as well. So, that's cool. 
Um, what else is there? Uh, we also get to do a bit more with Hunter as a playable character. Uh... And every time an enemy uh, respawns, we always get gems. So maybe you, I should get it. Well, if you have a PlayStation 2, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I have a PlayStation 2. Um, I should probably invest in like a display capture card thing uh, so that I could actually record my gameplay from PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 because uh, uh, what was it? There was a Lego game that uh, I acquired some time ago. Um, you love Hunter? <laughs> I don't blame you. He is a cool cat. GameCube as well. Oh, you have a GameCube. Awesome. Awesome. You are completely teched out. Oh. Oh. There we go. Massive, massive oof. But at least I didn't die. I did not die. So, big collector. Never sell anything. Oh. Well, uh, when it comes to technology, uh, that stuff, that's... Even if they become obsolete, they're irreplaceable because they always hold a certain nostalgia factor that some people, including myself, just can't seem to live without. Or... What's a better way to describe it? A sense of nostalgia that we just can't help but love. There we go. There we go. That's the way I wanted to describe it. For anyone who took it that's at my uh, word choice. I apologize. That was just that was just the ordering of words that I could come up with at that given moment. If I'm honest, though, the nostalgia that I like most is uh, in cinema, like films. Nostalgic music, though. That is also another form of nostalgia that I don't mind because music is very crucial in life. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Oh, here we go. Eric. Other favorite nostalgic games? Aside from Spyro, um, I really like Jack and Daxter. And... There was an old uh, Tetris PS1 game that I really liked. I also remember playing uh, some bowling games as well, like uh, Brunswick and... Uh, uh, Tenpin Alley. That's, that's the name. Tenpin Alley and uh, Brunswick. Uh, a few others as well. Um, I do have a PlayStation 2, and I am thinking about uh, investing in a display capture card, because I also uh, procured... Uh, Alright, Bamboo Terrace. Bamboo Terrace. My favorite of all the games. Um... Honestly, I think my softest spot is probably going to go to Spyro because he was the very first game I ever learned how to play. And the main reason why I learned how to play Spyro is because of my dad. Like, I remember watching him play Spyro and 
I wanted to try and learn how to play video games. I sucked at first, but nobody's like automatically good at something unless uh, they actually watched very carefully before they attempted it, but honestly, when I first played Spyro, it was confusing and difficult, but I eventually figured it out, so. I also really love uh, Jack 2. Um, Jack 2 for me is like... Uh, it's like the Ripto's Rage of uh, the Jack and Daxter series. Whereas Ripto's Rage is my favorite of the original three uh, PlayStation 1 Spyro games. Uh, Jack 2 is my favorite of the Jack and Daxter trilogy. Um, or the original Jack and Daxter trilogy. Uh, they did make... Uh, well, it wasn't Naughty Dog. It was some other video game company. Um, God, I can't remember who it was that made the fourth Jack and Daxter. But I do remember... Uh, it was uh, The Lost Frontier. And... Uh, I played that game very briefly when my dad rented it from uh, Gamefly, uh, but I didn't get to play it all the way through. I think it's because my dad was not impressed, and I can't really say I blame him, because uh, it didn't have the, uh, the actual Jack voice actor from Jack 2 and Jack 3. Uh, Michael Erwin. Uh, but yeah, of the three Jack and Daxter games that Naughty Dog put out, uh, the second one is definitely my favorite. So, Ripto's Rage and uh, Jack 2. Those games are probably like my favorite of all time. Um... And what was I saying? Oh yeah, I am thinking about investing in a display capture card because I procured other uh, PlayStation 1 games uh, recently. And uh, the reason I bought those games is because I remember watching uh, my friend Olive Hobbits play these two games on uh, PC. And when I saw that there was a PlayStation 1 version, I just had to get it. So. Oop. Expensive. But it makes it easier to stream a wide variety of stuff. Yes, absolutely. That's why I was thinking about investing. And I got the Egg Thief. I am good. I'm good. But yeah, the reason I got the PS1 versions of the games that I'm talking about is because I saw my friend Nicole, aka All of Hobbits, play uh, PC versions of them, and when I saw that there were PlayStation 1 versions, I just, I just had to get them to see how they compared. So, <laughs> thanks for the GG, cat. I appreciate that. <laughs> rhyme. But the games I'm talking about uh, when I'm mentioning my friend Olive Hobbits, uh, she played Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone as well as Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PC, and when I saw that there were PS1 versions, I just had to get them. Um, and you know, it's a funny thing because uh, I did receive a comment at one point saying that I resemble Harry Potter better than Daniel Radcliffe did. Like, I actually resembled the character from the book better than the actor from the movies did. Um, and according to the source, the actual Harry Potter character has black hair and green eyes. Meanwhile, here I am with my mother's green eyes and my dad's well, formally black hair, 
My dad's graying in the head now. You could see me doing a Harry Potter cosplay. Uh, yeah. It's definitely likely. And believe it or not, uh, one of the Enigma characters uh, from the Harry Potter franchise is actually the name of my ancestor. Or is actually the name of one of my ancestors, I should say. Uh, Godric Gryffindor. Believe it or not, Godric Gryffindor actually was a real person. Believe it or not, I'm actually descended from him. And if you think I'm pulling your leg, I'm actually not. I kid you not. So, yeah. Where's my settlement for using my ancestor's name, huh? Eh. And I also heard from uh, my friend Anita that, uh, the Harry Potter author made uh, transphobic remarks, or is transphobic. I'm not sure, but... If Anita says that she is transphobic, then I have no interest in hoping to know her. So, Yeah, it is crazy, but you know... Hey, this is the life I was born into. I can't just pick and choose which elements are real and which aren't. But I embrace each part of it, even the bits that don't sound very real. Like, what doesn't sound real? Um, my surname coming from two different areas. Like, it comes from both Africa and the Czech Republic. Which is why it's Czech spelling, but with an African pronunciation. Crazy as that sounds, that is actually the case. Spelled V-R-T-I-S and pronounced Virtus. As if there was an E in the middle. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Dang it. Ow! Oh. I got hit twice. How about that? Oh! Oh, I see. I see. Well, I hope she gets what's coming to her for her bigotry. Um... Believe it or not, uh, I actually protested uh, one LGBT thing because they refused to support another. Like, LGBT, you should support all branches instead of just focusing all your attention on just one. Um, and basically, this is a funny story, but it's also a true story. Uh, basically, what happened was, uh, they were doing this thing where we would wear red to support the gay students at our school. And I asked, well, when can we support any trans uh, students? And the staff scolded me, saying, anything trans-related is inappropriate. So, you can imagine how angry I was. So, whenever those days came, I wore blue in protest because they were focusing all their attention on supporting gay students and they had the audacity to call the trans community inappropriate. So if they were going to discriminate against one, then I was not going to participate in anything that they were going to ask me to. It's a matter of principle. That's so ridiculous. I know. But if that's the way they were going to behave, then I was left no other alternative but to wear blue in protest. And to be honest, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Because the trans community, they are people too. They deserve just as much of human rights as 
they give gay people. So if you're going to count them out just because you think they're inappropriate, well then, I'm not going to participate in anything that you're trying to... <sighs> I think I made my point. I should shut up about that. <sighs> and you know what else is ridiculous? I was always the victim of double standards at my school. Like, whenever I reported wrongdoing to the staff, they always brushed it off. Like, your reports are invalid. Like, you're just being a drama king. But whenever somebody reported me, oh, drop everything. We need to investigate and uh, punish this guy because he's being inappropriate or whatever. And it was stupid. It was stupid. Like... People are accusing me of ridiculous stuff, and I get in trouble, yet somebody actually does the crime, and when I report it, you don't do anything. In what world is that even legal? Apparently up here in Washington. Anyway, let's do Spider-Town. Little fun fact, I'm actually afraid of spiders in real life. Yeah, ironically, I like Spider-Man. Crazy as it may be, uh, well, that is part of who I am. I'm afraid of spiders, but I like Spider-Man. Anyway. Alright, you spiders. Make way for D. Casanova. You're gonna make like Alan Rickman's character and die hard. Uh, Hans Gruber. I think that was the character's name. Here we go. stuff. <sighs> I do too. Wait, what is it that you also do? Okay, so it's not for that one, it's for this one. Okay, I need some health. Here we go. Ha! Got him. Oh! There we go. Now Sparks is fully healthy again. He's a yellow dragonfly. Just the way I like him. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta think quickly, gotta think swiftly. Think swiftly now. Ah! Come on. Whoa! Ambush! Ambush! <laughs> oh man. I just remembered an episode of Ed and Eddie. Uh, basically, all the kids were sick, and the Eds were healthier as healthier than horses, and without the kids to scam, Eddie was pretty much losing his marbles, and uh, Double D and Ed were pretty much trying to keep Eddie sane, but it was too late. He already lost his mind. Um, it was a funny episode. Um, I especially like the part where, uh, they pretty much put a plunger on, uh, Eddie's head, and <laughs> Eddie pretty much freaked out like he was under attack. He was like, ah, ambush! Okay, that's not an accurate impression, but I can do Ed pretty well. Well, I can't sleep, Eddie. I keep thinking, how can my feet smell if they don't have a nose? Health. Okay, I'm um, not sure... Oh, nine. Nine fireballs. I hate spiders, but I love Spider-Man. Oh, maybe that's the thing that Maddie was referring to. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Ah! Dang it. Okay. Just need to rehydrate. I need a better power up. Um, any power up butterflies? No, that doesn't look like one. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through this completely fair. Oh. Okay, come on. I almost forgot which buttons I was supposed to push.
Ah! Dang it. Okay. Deep breath. Try this again. There we go. Three's the charm. And we got Tootie. Level complete. I did it. I did it. I did it. How about that? You know what? Maybe for Wednesday, maybe a cooking stream actually would be fun. Like roast beef sandwiches, hash browns, uh, Yorkshire pudding. Uh, what else could I make? Uh, back to Evening Lake. Um... Roast beef sandwich, Yorkshire pudding, hash browns, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, <sighs> what other foods could I make? Uh, Possibilities are endless. So I'm going to go into Honey Speedway for now. For the time being. Got distracted. Getting... Oh, no, no, no. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I do appreciate the lurking, though. I do appreciate the lurking. But you're totally fine. Don't ever apologize for being distracted. Well, I'm glad it makes you excited. Uh, time attack or erase the bumblebees. Uh, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Oh. Okay. Looks like I'm doing the time attack. Okay. I remember in the original version, when you passed through uh, the beehives, uh, it made more of a buzzing sound. Like, boom. Something like that. Did you know that... Uh, if uh, a bee were to lose its stinger, it dies instantly, which is why uh, bees don't tend to sting people. That's hornets and wasps, because a bee stinger has 
these uh, needle things that stick out and uh, a wasp or a hornet they don't have those uh, needles that stick out they're completely streamlined and uh, oh my god where's the last boat where's the last boat there it is think bees are so cute yeah, I like bees. Um, I'm afraid of hornets and wasps, though. I may have the size advantage, but they have the owie advantage. Stink! Owie! Oh, okay, now this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Oh. Oh. Ah. Drat. Ah. Just hidden things. Still did it my first time. Awesome. And that is true. It is hard to outrace a cheetah because their shoulder joints aren't. They're not actually connected to their spines. They operate on their own. Uh, I am. Not sure if axis is the right word, but basically a cheetah shoulder, it's not like directly connected to their spine. So that's pretty much how they're able to run like really, really, really fast because they don't have like extra bones hampering them. So we're going to race the bumblebees now. I know this might be irrelevant, but I also like the Transformer character, Bumblebee. Like, I know that uh, some Transformer fans uh, aren't exactly fond of him these days because there are, like, so many toys of him made and uh, they almost never make any other action figures of anybody else. Um... But I can actually see why the company is, like, making so many versions of Bumblebee. Like, his personality and his overall character development, it makes him very relatable to younger audience members. So, yeah. Ah. I fell behind. Hope I can catch back up. Oh, and I got that bee right in the butt. And considering the shape of their stinger, I'm pretty sure these aren't actually bumblebees. I'm pretty sure they're actually wasps. Although, to be fair, a wasp is a type of bee, but they do go under a different name, so... And now I'm in first place. Okay, so I did catch back up. Which means I have one lap left to pretty much get through. Whoa!
And now, I'm up and around. You know, it's just, it's funny how bits of my life have turned out. And it's funny how I can relate to several different fictional characters. It's like, I'm a combination of most of them. Like, uh, Jack, for instance. Like, I remember going through a sort of attitude arc, very similar to him changes as well, and when people s have seen how much I changed, it's like I've become a completely different person. <sighs> Henry. And we can exit the level. Okay, now we go to Lost Fleet. We will go to Lost Fleet with this. Um. I give you a shout out. I've seen your streams and you're pretty fun to watch. So you definitely do deserve a shout out. Um You're welcome. Uh, oh, by the way, thank you for having me during your streams. They're very fun to watch. I enjoy them. You be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. Darn shame, too, if I was mighty close to finding my treasure. It is nice to have another Spyro friend. Wait a minute, it was I who found you. Well... In a way, we kind of found each other, so... Eh, what does it matter? Finding a friend is like finding a golden treasure, I think. That's my perspective, anyway. Aha! I gotcha. Fried like bacon. Yes, it is true. It is very true. When you find friends who have something in common, it's like you found the jackpot. Or you've struck the golden treasure. Um... I remember playing the PC version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, I was actually not expecting uh, Quirrell to be the final boss, but... <laughs> I guess if uh, Snape appeared in the uh, second game, then... I guess that's a sign that... He's not the bad guy. Seven-ish months ago. <laughs> well, trust me when I say I am definitely glad that you motivated me to play this game again. Um, I also remembered uh, 
before this year, or before this month, I should say, uh, the last time I played uh, the Reignited Trilogy was 2019. And why can I not get that? You know what? Maybe I... Maybe I need to wait till later to toast that bird. So... I'm gonna postpone uh, cooking that bird for now. Um, did I cook three foes with one blast? Did I just... Okay, I have to admit, I am actually a bit more skilled when it comes to fighting foes than I thought. Um, or maybe that was just pure dumb luck. There's a bird there. I think there's an enemy like over there somewhere. Oh, um, where is that? Okay, that bird comes over. Okay. So maybe I can't get that bird from here. Um, wishful thinking, though. Ooh! Gems. I almost forgot about these. Um, other things to talk about. Um, I've been singing this one song, uh, Turn Back Time, which reminds me of, uh, The First Life is Strange with Max Caulfield. Um. You know what? I'm tempted to sing it. Uh. I'm gonna turn off the game music for a moment because I want to sing Turn Back Time. Ah. This is gonna be fun. Unless ads come up before I know Aqua has absolutely nothing to do with Spyro, but you know what? I just have to, because I love to sing. There we go. Give me time to reset Give me time to think it through Passing through the season Where I cheated you I will always have a cross to wear Though the ball reminds me I was there So give me strength to face this test of mine If only I could turn back time If only I had said what I still hide If only I could turn back time I would stay for the night For the night Claim your right to science Claim your right to see the truth Though my pangs of conscience Will drill a hole in you 
I seen it coming like a thief in the night I seen it coming from the flash of your light So give me strength to face this test of mine If only I could turn back time If only I had said what I still hide If only I could turn back time I would stay If only I could if only I could turn back time, I would stay for the night. If only I could. If only I could. If only I could turn back time, I would stay for the night. Ah. Oh. But at least it gave me that. Uh. Okay. So apparently can't seem to do this without I got to get back into the groove. <sighs> but thank you for putting up with uh my singing. And bloody thanks for the hugs for all. I appreciate that. Why did it send me all the way back here? all that effort and I only managed to boost up to fifth great and it's the third lap too so how am I going to get through this Whoa! ah The game malfunctioned on me. That's what happened. Okay, what is the deal with this game? Like, did they let me or something? 
Hmm. Maybe if I exit this area and then come back. Ah. Okay, here we go. I've earned my right to give myself the yeah yeah. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you oh. Okay. I landed right on the crab. How slick was that? Oh. I almost missed him. Aiden. That's my brother's name.
Okay. So now... To go around and collect the treasure that I've missed. So I got all the gems in that area. Now, to resume over here. I thought there would be an egg here. I guess not. Alrighty. Pretty much cook all these crabs. Funny enough, I'm not into seafood. Okay. Okay, so I got that bird. Now... There's that one. It's three. get that bird all the way from here. Come on. <sighs> hmm. Seems like I'll have to attack that bird manually. If I can. There's treasure along here. 
all along the watchtower. All along the watchtower, Brits is kept on view. While all the women came and went, Barefoot servants too. Man the cannons, man. I think that was the first time I ever got that trophy, actually. Okay. So now at this point There we go. And... Booyah! There we go. You got some mean subdriving skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Ethel. I remember this one time where uh, I played the original game and I managed to actually take out a submarine that I wasn't even targeted on. more. Awesome. Now where's the last one? Oh, there it is. Dolores. Just a dragon.
things to talk about while I am here. Um, I like watching people game, and uh, I also get excited trying out new games. Uh, but then there are some games that just don't interest me the same way. It's kind of a complicated process, now that I think about it. That was close. Okay. Here we go. way to find fortunes untold, treasures unfound, and around here, and man, the way they made the Reignited Trilogy, everything just looks so crisp and clean. Or even not clean, very well detailed, to say the least. Like, everything in the Reignited Trilogy is, like, extremely detailed. Like, it's even more detailed than the typical three dimensional. You know? It's pretty much four dimensional. Now I think about it. And something tells me I went the wrong approach. Okay. Here we go. Here we are. Chad. We found Chad. bit slow. Okay. Well, at least now that I've taken care of that, Let's see, I took care of Bentley, Lost Fleet, and Honey Speedway. That leaves Charmed Ridge, Frozen Altars, and the Fireworks Factory. Uh,
you know something? Uh, I feel like I've been live long enough, so yeah. I think I'm pretty much done for tonight. So, um, tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. Uh, and, you know what, even though it's still uh, Tuesday night, I think I'll end things with the Wednesday song because, well, I love the Wednesday song. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on, where is it? Where's the Wednesday song? This is one of the hard parts. Ah, there it is, the Wednesday song. So, I'm ending things with the Wednesday song. Uh, bloody Cat Power, uh, Sir Rykard, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Uh, thank you so much for chatting. I've been the host, D. Casanova, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Goodbye!